So Aaron Rodgers is the most hated man in the NFL. In early March, a study was conducted on Twitter revealing that fans love to hate Aaron Rodgers. Shocker. Bet Online did a study analyzing more than 1 million tweets that had negative phrases associated with people affiliated with the NFL. So this is owners, players, even Jackson Mahomes. They analyzed phrases such as Aaron Rodgers sucks, Antonio Brown is a loser, and of course, Roger Goodell. Nice parenting. Hey, thanks. You my therapist? Take a walk. The winner by a landslide was Aaron Rodgers. Stick around till the end of the video. I will reveal the top 10, but spoiler alert, Aaron Rodgers was number one. The man had 266,000 850 negative tweets associated with his name. That's over a quarter million tweets. Why do people love to hate this guy? We all know about the rift between Rodgers and the Packers at the beginning of the 2021 season. This definitely soured a lot of people, including myself, on Rodgers. Fairly or unfairly, Rodgers was perceived by a lot of people to be selfish. In the middle of the season, he was also caught in a firestorm when it came out that he was unvaccinated. I'm sure a lot of people who believe strongly in the vaccines got fired up over this. They felt he was misleading with the statements to the media saying he was immunized. Let me say this. I am not an Aaron Rodgers fan. I thought the whole drinking scotch thing after victories was kind of lame. Overall, he comes off a bit arrogant for my personal taste. That being said, I do respect the man. And in his defense, he made some very valid points when addressing these situations. I just think people like to say a lot of bull****. When he returned to the Packers, he spoke about how he was unhappy that the organization didn't want his input on certain personnel decisions. He expressed that he wasn't happy that the team parted ways with several talented players such as Micah Hyde and others. For those of you who just want him to shut up and play football, this is the new NFL. There are teams out there such as the Buffalo Bills who have asked Josh Allen, a far less experienced quarterback, his opinions on what they should do at the offensive coordinator position once Brian Dayball left. And whether you like it or not, Aaron Rodgers has earned the right to be in those conversations for his team. The man is a four-time league MVP, a Super Bowl champion, and one of the greatest quarterbacks of his generation. Moving on to the vaccine controversy, Rodgers told the media that he had been immunized. He answered the question that was asked. Now, I'm not going to go too far down this rabbit hole, but if he indeed felt that he was immunized, then he answered the question. And I personally don't think that that's a bold-faced lie by any means. If anything, I feel that it is a bad look by the reporter not to ask a follow-up question getting more clarification your job is to get answers out of these guys it's not their job to bend over backwards to give you every single answer I do find it alarming that Rogers got twice as many negative tweets as Deshaun Watson and Tyreek Hill we all know about the Deshaun Watson situation and for those of you who forgot Tyreek Hill beat up his pregnant girlfriend in college and in 2019 was accused of child abuse although Aaron Rodgers can be annoying at times he has been a model citizen and has never had any legal issues. All in all, my take on this guy is that he enjoys challenging people and I respect that. I respect that he is genuine and unwilling to change no matter what people think of him. Here's a quote from Rogers himself when he appeared on the Pat McAfee show. It really comes down to, pardon my French, giving less fucks. I think it's a maturity that comes with aging, making mistakes, from failing to being overly sensitive at times. There's a lot of joy in being unapologetically yourself. It takes a lot of work to get to this place. You have to be comfortable in your own shoes, you have to be confident, and you have to be okay with not being liked all the time. And that is what Rogers is. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please do me a solid if you haven't already, like this video and subscribe to the channel. And as promised, here are the top 10 most disliked people affiliated with the NFL.